agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. I'm playing a guy K WM France deck and G deck game with CS2376 Junior, PT944, and Field Watchman. So, whoa, uh, this opening pack is quite good considering the set that we're playing. Uh, we've got Mason, Benefactor, and Cloister Dweller. So, some quite strong cards. Uh, Cow Bomb is pretty good with Cloister Dweller. It's okay with Benefactor. Mason and Benefactor is okay. It's not great. It's okay. Um, I think I'm probably taking Cloister Dweller here. Yeah, it's difficult to pass Mason, and it's difficult to pass Benefactor, but I think it's probably the right decision. I could maybe take Benefactor and count on ben on uh, Dove Hunter wheeling, and that's a fairly strong combination. Dove Hunter is an extremely efficient way to feed. I'm going to take Cloister Dweller here. Ooh, Winter Crafter. Winter Crafter is quite good. So I'm pr that's probably what I'm going to take. Uh, we also have Fencer and Crop Rotator. I like both of those cards too, especially with what we know is out there. But Winter Crafter is fantastic. It's a really great, great improvement. The ability to build uh, major improvements and then feed with them is really nice. Hard choice between three. Yeah, you're right, Rylocran. I agree. Hopefully I made the right one. Not sure if I did, but we'll see. Mm, this pick, Contractor, makes it easier to build major improvements. Um, Stone Piler's okay. I think I'm going to take Headmaster. I play Headmaster. It makes my occupation cheaper, and it's, you know, I usually try to make Headmaster worth one point at the end of the game. That's usually my goal. And then I use it to also to make all my occupations free. So Headmaster, I think, is the pick here. Oh, and then we got Village Fool here. And there's also Head of the Revolution. I think I'm taking Village Fool here. Although Village Fool with uh, Winter Crafter is not quite as good because Winter Crafter plays all my miners really easily. But uh, I think I'll just take Village Fool here. Yeah, Head of the Revolution is okay, but I think Village Fool is better in this situation. I do have to lay out my farm pretty precisely for Cloister Dweller, so maybe Head of the Revolution is something I can win, but I think Village Fool is quite nice especially in this format I think the occupations my last couple occupations are gonna be not that good so turning them into points could be uh, could be a good option also uh, hello everyone it's uh, two win Tuesday this is the first game so looking forward to uh, a day of games here today Play some different formats. This is this this game has uh, no unpublished decks in it, so I got to remember when I put it online to put that in the right playlist. All right. Well, I do like Dove Hunter. To wine Tuesday. I hope I didn't put that in by accident. <laughs> Making me nervous, Rallo Uh I do like Dove Hunter. Farmer uh, is good for whoever gets the fencer. Debris Dealer is kind of a funny card. Debris Dealer could be an okay pick. I could take Cowboy and Mother. So the thing about Cowboy and Mother is don't play that many occupations, so I can play Headmaster. I could play Cow Mom, 
Headmaster, Village Full, Cloister Dweller, probably not even play uh, Winter Crafter. You like Farmer Stockman here for a pair of animals? Um, it's okay with Benefactor, it's not great. It's okay. I would have a very high point ceiling, higher than normal point ceiling with Cowboy and Mother because of the uh, the occupations that I have. Hmm. I think I'm going to take Cowboy and Mother here. I don't think I'm really all that sold on any of these remaining cards, so I'll take Cowboy and Mother here and I can decide. I don't have to play it, but... And this is what card is mo the question of what card is most likely to get played. This is just a card that's going to get tossed to the village fool, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, layabout's pretty solid. I like contractor with winter crafter. Like I could do layabout or contractor. There's a combo with Early Riser and Dove Dove Hunter. Actually no, Dove Hunter happens. It, well yeah, I guess you breed it and then you eat it right away. But yeah, I guess Early Riser is a different phase because Dove Hunter isn't in the breeding phase, I don't think, so. Um yeah, could contractor could lay about. Um uh, Layabout's better. Oh, excuse me. Layabout's better for like NerfG, and Contractor is better for uh, if I'm going to build a bunch of major improvements. So if I see like five rings, I want Contractor, and if I see um, clay supports, I probably want Layabout. I think Layabout is a better card overall. All right, so keeping Cowboy and Mother in mind, um, best card here, not too excited about any of these cards to be honest, I could maybe take Open Gate, I could take Chicken Coop, I could take Brushwood Roof, really not, not too excited about any of these. Um, excuse me, um, you could take chicken coop. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take chicken coop here. Not, not too happy with that opening pile. All right, well, we've got Sunday school. So I won't take Sunday School here, but I'm happy to see it in the game. Hopefully it gets passed around. A whole bunch of people use it. Look at all these Fool cards. Yeah, that's right. So I think I'm taking Swan Lake here. Swan Lake's two points for a minor. Very good. Very, very good. Raft is in the game for Fisherman. Yeah. Oh, there's Clay Supports. Alright, I can take Clay Supports here. Yep. Lots of passing miners. So I'm pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy to see all these passing miners. So I could definitely uh, definitely play a pretty early village fool, I think. Uh, okay. This pick's got to be spinny, I suppose. Yeah. No real reason for me to take any of the other cards. Reed beds is okay, but I'll take spinny here. Yeah, I probably won't play Fisherman. So it looks like I probably play the first four occupations and then maybe Layabout. And uh, I probably probably will play a bunch of my miners since I have um, since I got clay supports. Clay supports a really good reason to go up to five rooms. <clears throat> I could consider six rooms even with Cloister Dweller. With I actually have enough bonus points, I could even consider not plowing any fields. And uh, 
doing, you know, covering nine spaces with pastures and covering six spaces with rooms. And then if I get to a stone house, then I'd probably be in a really good spot. Uh, yeah, all of these are pretty brutal. Uh, I guess I'll take village well. In case I get a whole bunch of stone. Yeah, don't really see any reason to take anything else. Milking, milking shed is okay. But it's quite expensive. I'd rather just rebuy the well. And also with village fool in hand, I got no problem throwing the village well away for a point. I'm not miss. I didn't miss out on anything with that pick. All right. Well, still not totally sure how this game's gonna go. There's still some things to be decided. Certainly, Hedgemaster is my first played occupation. Other than that, there's a lot that's up in the open. A lot that's up in the open. Reed Exchange is pretty fantastic here. With clay supports, Reed Exchange is really excellent. And then this pick... Could be Lasso, could be Guest, could be Brazier. Any of those are okay. Um, Brazier being played with Winter Crafter is reasonably solid. But it's probably better just to build a Cooking Hearth, right? Uh, I'll take Lasso here. Lasso is something that I might want to play with uh, Winter Crafter. I think I'm unlikely to have so much excess food, I want to play the guest. Alright, so we start in third. I'm going to reorder, reorder the farms. little narrower okay well still not totally sure how this game's gonna go uh, it would be great if I could play the first occupation with the third move like if they could read stone food three wood then I could play headmaster more likely, though, I'm playing Headmaster after somebody else has already played an Occupation. And then after that, I let the Headmaster food accumulate and I focus on taking building resources. I'm very likely to build a wood room and then build two clay rooms afterwards with clay supports. Um, yeah. Not sure what the issue is here. There we go. All right, Field Watchman reads Stone Food. CS is going to play Village Elder. Okay, well, that hurts my Village Fool somewhat. Because my Village Fool, of course, wants, uh, wants to throw away my Miners. And Village Elder wants me to play them. Winter Crafter is like the perfect pick here, though, to be fair. Winter Crafter plays major improvements extremely, extremely well. Although it will definitely be difficult to do a six room house and all six room stone house, even five room stone house, and also win the um have a decent cloister and also win that. Yes. Uh, thank you. So CS Junior might have a start player action with a wood miner here. Okay, well, I don't really care about plowing. 
could take a grain here. With Winter Crafter building an oven in the harvest is pretty is a pretty reasonable thing to do. Or I could take two I could day labor. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take the grain here. The day labor is only two food. The grain can become four or five food when I built an build an oven. Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty good about my fisherman, or sorry, about my layabout pick here. Uh, even with contractor, um, even sorry, even with uh, village elder coming out, contractor would have been good. Except that I'm going to do a big house. Layabout is kind of the perfect card for a big house. The ability to skip one of your like your feeding after you've done your fourth and fifth family growth can be really strong. So PT raft into occup first action head of the revolution. All right, food onto my headmaster. So two reed would be pretty good here, or three wood. I'd be happy with either. I can actually steal the sheep if they don't get taken in round four. I could winter crafter something. Ooh, canoe and raft. That's fun. So PT944 has got a reason to start to use, a pretty solid reason to use fishing. Extra food and two reed whenever he takes it. Oh, it doesn't have two ox. That's correct. We had Field Watchman build that fireplace here. With sheep coming round two, seems like a very solid decision. What's going on? I can play another occupation here, so I think I may as well. I'll throw out my winter crafter here. Use the headmaster food. I'd like one of the good wood actions. Otherwise, read stone food. I should be looking at four, um, four clay in round four, maybe. If I could take a bunch of wood, that will make me happy. Although Field Watchman wants wood. CS Jr. doesn't need the wood so much, I don't think, unless CS Jr. took brushwood roof. There is brushwood roof out there. 
Yeah, Jun CS Jr. might have taken Brushwood Roof. Field Watchman plays Fence Delivery Men. All right. Trigger to my Headmaster. So if I could get both the three wood actions, that would make me happy. And then I could maybe play Chicken Coop in the round four harvest. No, CS Jr. grab. Yeah, CS Jr.'s got Brushwood Roof. That, uh... That basically guarantees it in my mind. He's ignoring Reed altogether. I bet he has Brushwood Roof. Or, or he's got Benefactor. That's the other possibility. He's leaning into ben Benefactor. So second move for me. Not really sure what I should do. Don't really want to play an occupation. I guess I could play a really early village fool. Field Watchman's playing veterinarian. Wow. Uh, that's a thing. <laughs> Rolling the die here. Expected output of veterinarian is one and a half sheep. Let's see if he gets that. I'd say you should get three animals out of that. No, it's much lower than that. It's much lower than that. It's like expected output is like one and a half sheep. I remember. So three food traveling players would be fine. Why did he lay it out like this? This is so ugly. Just to mix it up. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's pretty ugly. Uh, I could start player chicken coop here. I do need food. I could start player chicken coop into reed stone food. Reed stone food and then second action for four clay. Because, yeah, the uh, building a wood room is looking less and less likely by the minute. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're not last anymore. Yeah, and I don't really want to take any of the two food actions. So let's just grab Reedstone food here. And uh, I'll get one of the four clay actions back. Would have hit a boar if he laid them out normally instead of whatever this layout is. And once you hit the first animal, the chance of getting successive hits is a lot higher. <laughs> That's funny. PT takes the fishing, unsurprisingly. Field Watchman, I expect, will take the three wood. I'm pretty sure your odds go up, like, pretty significantly once you hit the first early animal. It's... Yeah, I think I think it does. I remember. Like, you're really counting, for, uh, counting on getting that early animal because then you actually get some stuff out of it. Am I going to Wintercraft the, um, the oven here? I could winter craft the uh the clay oven. I think what I'm winter crafting is uh the lasso because then I'm threatening field watchman's animals. Could also play reed exchange. 
Uh, nah. Should definitely winter craft something though. The thing is, I can't play a major improvement. It's got to be a minor. So I'll just play Lasso here. Yeah. Lasso seems fine. And I could still build a major improvement uh, clay oven when I reno. CS Jr. is playing Sunday Sunday Worker. That uh, increases my Headmaster. Push your cards up. Yeah, last card is Lasso. That's right. Yep. Uh, so I'll winter, I'll winter craft Lasso here. It's Reno. All right. Well, I can take five clay and then Reno here. Need to feed four. Hey, just got a hit. Field watching just hit a cattle. Nice. So I think now we're all about setting up the um, clay supports. So we're planning to winter craft either clay supports or reed exchange. Oh, CS Jr. did end up taking the two taking two reed. I really thought CS Jr. is setting up benefactor. Yeah, mm, I thought he was setting up Benefactor. Maybe not, though. Field Watchman can build. Yeah, so PT is the first person to build. So very unlike. So, like, my family growth is going to fall pretty late. I, do, I could do something like uh, Reno and um, Reed Exchange here. And then be able to build a clay room. But I think we're going to go for the... Uh, I think we're going to go for um, the um, clay supports. So I want to take clay, wood, and reed. That's what I want. And I can lasso the two sheep at any, or probably looking to lasso three sheep in round seven if we can. PT start players, unsurprisingly. I assume the three wood is getting taken. No, oh, Field Watchman's upgrading to a cooking hearth. Okay. So I want CS Jr. to take the three wood. Yeah, he does. Okay. So, um, yeah, four, four clay, three wood. To read. Those are all actions that I like. Wow, he just hit a sheep. Field watching just hit a sheep. Very nice. Oh, late family growth here is good for me. Late family growth is quite good for me. I wonder where Sunday Sunday school ended up. Yeah, very lucky veterinarian here for field watchman. Guys, veterinarian is bad. Don't play it. Don't play it. It's not worth playing. Field watchman's got lucky here. He's gotten very lucky. Take the three wood, second action, take four clay. And then I can uh, clay supports. 
where I could read exchange or clay supports with Winter Crafter in the harvest. Yeah, this uh, this block by CS Junior seems pretty bad, because CS Junior has to stable block twice in a row. He has to stable block not just this round, but also in round seven. So I think it's not really worth doing. Field Watchman plays Farmer. Oh, Farmer, fantastic with fence delivery men. So I don't think I saw fence delivery men. So he might have taken uh, Benefactor, as well. That's definitely a possibility. Um, I need food. So does CS Junior. I think I can take the clay here. I think I have time to do that. I mean, I can always build the clay oven if if that's what we're left with. Like if if I can get three read. Oh man. Come on guys, come on. You hit six and seven. Okay, he did hit seven. Okay. All right, I guy did that wrong then. Okay. He, he didn't actually take it, but now he took it. Okay. And what did he hit this time? Four and seven, so no no hit. Yeah, uh, marking uh, build a room seems like a mistake for Field Watchmen because it seems pretty obvious to me that CS Jr. is going to stable block again. Yeah, so he, he just gave that food away, which... I think it was a mistake. Well, there's three read available, and I love three read with uh, clay supports. And then if my second move could be... If my second move could be... Um, what? What do I want my second move to be? I can't, the thing is, if I play Clay Oven, then I can't build three rooms anymore. But that's okay. I don't have to build three rooms. I could actually go on Major Minor. Although it looks like PT is going on Major Minor. So Field Watchman gave all three of his food away with Camembert. Yeah, that seems like a mistake. So maybe I should take four food, traveling players. You know what? Field Watchman hasn't built yet. I can first action build next round. Or force... Um, so I can get six wood or build next round. I, I can do either of those two things. So um, maybe I could play Village Fool here. No, I could take... What am I saying? Not Village Fool. I could take... I need to take one food or play layabout. I could play layabout. I could do that. But layabout at this point seems like a waste because then I don't actually play winter crafter. So I need to think here. I could take two stone and then be able to build the well. So if field watch with first action build, CS Jr. has to first action family growth, which means I get six wood. 
And then I should be able to set up building again in round nine. So I could take, I could take two stone here. Yeah, I could take two stone and set and build two rooms instead of three and winter craft. No, I want, sorry, I want a winter craft clay support. So no, I'm not building the clay oven. So I need to take food. So I should take reedstone food, I suppose. Although reedstone food's not quite enough food. I need more than that. But I can get more food in the future. Yeah, you know what? If I do this... Wintercraft clay supports. Feed four. Now if I got one random clay somehow... I got one random clay, then I could um, build four rooms, which is what I want to do with cloister, Cl cloister dweller, um, cloister dweller. Wow, he hits another animal. Yeah, he hits the sheep. Yeah, once you hit the first animal, then you start to hit animals really quickly. So, this is the the power of the RNG on veterinarian here. Yeah, nor most of the time it does almost nothing, but uh, the the times where you do hit the first animal, it's huge. So I could six wood. Probably the three stone gets taken. So I could six wood into four clay. CS Jr. is going to play flag in. All right. I should consider lassoing something in round nine. Yeah, I could lasso something in round nine. So if I want to play Village Fool, I got to play it in round 10 for three points. Six wood is always a good choice. Yeah, I guess I could play Village Fool for in round 12 for two points. That would be okay. It's not perfect, but it'd be okay. Whoa, the three stone might come back. Although I'm guessing CS Jr. will take the three stone with flagon in hand. Really wants that uh, flagon to be built. Also, it seems like six food should be too much. I wonder if CS Jr. forgot to feed in that last harvest. Six food seems like a lot for someone with no fireplace or anything. Not a food. He Sunday worked for food. Okay. All right. That's what happened.
Okay, um, three stones available, but with this setup, I absolutely need to... I absolutely need to take uh, the clay here because I want a first action build next round to guarantee my growth in round 10. Unless, of course, Benefactor comes out to screw me, which doesn't seem likely. No one's really ready for Benefactor yet. Field Watchman, I guess, could, but it would take a lot of work and needs to grow himself, so... He's going to get a breeding pair of cattle here, which is quite good, with his fencer and his uh, fence delivery man. So Field Watchman, the veterinarian, has paid off. This round or in two rounds for four or three full points. Yeah, probably round 10 for three full points is the play. Maybe in round 12 for two full points. But yeah, probably round 10 for three is going to be reasonable. The problem is I'm going to family growth in that round as well. So if I family growth and play fool, then I'm not taking any building resources. Like that's my whole, that's my whole round just gone right there. So, oh, interesting. CS Jr. did not go for the well, PT did. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm probably lassoing two boar and build a room. Actually, no, I'm not lassoing build a room. I'll just take the two boar. He sounds like he's thinking of, um, it's not, um, five five food that you place places thinking of oh I can't remember the name of the card absinthe that's it I knew it was some very high alcohol content card <laughs> take a food here um, so CS Jr. could take two sheep and then build but then he would starve unless the well gets built Take the two boar for now. So I missed one. I missed my two and I spent one. Yeah, five is correct. Yeah, I haven't missed any headmaster yet. Wintercraft pottery. Uh, yeah, I think so. I was thinking that, or else winter, or maybe wintercraft clay oven, absinthe. Yeah, thanks, Sam Folds. Yeah, PT plays remodeler, so PT still needs to take clay. PT needs to take clay and then build. Uh, CS Junior would have to take two reed and then build, and that would also lead to starving one. Uh, PT also can't build the well because he has no wood. So I think what I'm doing is not building here. I think I can build in round 10 and that might, that will get me the round 10 build, the round 10 growth. And then I could also, uh, theoretically, like they would have to start player to grow ahead of me in round 11. PT, yeah, um... CS Jr. just took the clay. Yeah, so CS Jr. is not a threat to build. So I could play Village Fool here. If I'm going to build Grow, then I should play Village Fool with this action. But there's also three wood available, and the um, Head of the Revolution is still available. And if I can get 12 wood relatively quickly after building all my rooms, I could absolutely... Um, I could absolutely go for the... Uh, 
Head of the Revolution bonus. And Head of the Revolution bonus would be better than a three-point Village Fool. I could still play a two-point Village Fool, theoretically. Oh, did I get a thing for Remodeler? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 10. I missed out on three, and I spent one. I should have one on Headmaster. Yeah, if I can win the Head of the Revolution bonus, then I'm feeling quite good. Feeling quite good about this. Craft pottery and then two food and a clay to feed for. So I wonder where that Sunday school ended up. Kind of surprised that nobody's played it. So for someone to grow in front of me, they would need to build and start player. So CS Junior would have to take three read, build, and start player. Actually, no, CS Jr. doesn't have to start player. PT would have to start player to build ahead of me in round 11. So yeah, CS Jr. might go for the build. Taking three wood, so maybe not. So yeah, if I can get even 5 wood defense 12, I can win the head of the revolution bonus for why. Uh, I, could, I was thinking about building stables earlier, but no, let's go for the fences to win the head of the revolution bonus. Headmaster is every four food is worth a point, right? Every three food is worth a point. So Headmaster is two points right now. Oh, PT start player read beds. Oh, I'm occupying build a room. What am I saying? PT, CS can't jump me. Only PT can. And PT needs to take clay. So PT has to take two clay and then Reno to jump me. We're close, or really close to the head of the revolution. So we don't have a miner to play. We don't haven't played enough occupations yet. So, and I don't want to play read exchange. Turning one into clay is not good.
CS Jr. has Benefactor. That's annoying. We knew it was out there. I guess I did think it was CS Jr. when Village Elder came out and he ignored Reed so much early on. Well, I think I'm just keeping an eye on Field Watchman. I'm trying to beat Field Watchman to the head of the Revolution points. And if I do that, then I'm not feeling too bad about how this game is going. Three bonus points, plus two points from Headmaster, plus a uh, potential five-point Cloister Dweller. We got the well here for PT944. So we get an F from the flagon. Six and four, swing and a miss for Field Watchmen. So yeah, definitely four wood if it comes back to me. Did not pursue it that hard with Village Well in hand. No, I didn't. The Well? Nah. I was okay with uh, tossing it with Village Fool. No, the Well, it, the well is not like... It's better for me to win the Head of the Revolution bonus and to build the, build the well this game. Because the Head of the Revolution also develops my farm, gets me other points. Whereas the well is just points in and of itself. Which is good most of the time, but in this game in particular I'm trying to be as efficient as possible because I didn't get a family growth action until round 10 because of late family growth. So I have to be as efficient as I can be. Field Watchman plowed again, interesting. Well, if CS Jr. passes me four wood, I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> CS Jr. start player cattle market. Okay. All right. Uh, I should be able to take four wood, three wood, and then and then fence. And I can eat a boar. Get a food here. That was the last of my chicken coop food. It did pretty well, I have to say. Fed me for a long time. So I could play Village Fool and then play Spinny in the Harvest. But I don't need to. It's better for me to take three wood and get the fencing done here. Win the head of the revolution bonus. Because then, too, I can start taking, um, I can start lassoing pairs of animals a bunch. And you know what, with that three wood grab, I'm not seeing how anyone's beating me. Field Watchman gets his two his four fences in round thirteen at the earliest. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the well is like one of those things that... So, the boot is famous for saying the person who builds the well usually wins. Oh, Chamberlain. Chamberlain was not banned? Oh. That's irritating. Yeah, Chamberlain in a late family growth game. Quite good here for Field Watchmen. So then he family growths with his last move. Well, he didn't really set up his 
Chamberlain perfectly, I have to say. Like he's not gonna get a he, he's not getting a really good plus so action out of it. Although he is getting up to five family members very easily, so that's good. He obviously needs to revisit my uh, how to use Chamberlain video. Uh, so if I take wood again, then I can. Um, if I take wood again, then I can actually um, fence um, an extra pasture, which will let me hold a third type of animal, which seems valuable with lasso in hand. So let's do that. So I'll play Spinny with Winter Crafter, I think. So that means I should play an occupation here. So I'll play um, Village Fool. And then I eat three food and a boar in the harvest. And I'm going to play spinny with uh, Winter Crafter. Ooh, Animal Farm. Haven't seen that card played in a while. Animals to supply for guest token places around as you would a family member. Fun. I haven't seen that card played in a long time. All right. Um, well, I think what I do is I take three wood here because then I can fence fence 15 and then lasso one of the either the three sheep or the two cattle. I'd be happy with either of those. And I don't need to toss for village elder, village fool here because the third card is not worth anything. So yeah, fence fifteen, lasso the two, the probably lasso the three sheep since that then I can play cattle market. Although two cattle is good too. You know, two cattle is probably better. Um, if I get the three sheep, I can actually lasso the sheep and I can eat the cattle that I get with cattle market. I mean, the three sheep are, there's no way the three sheep are coming back. I'm not getting three sheep next round. I might get two boar though. Fence 15, Viva la Revolution, and then three sheep or two cattle. Guess I'll take the cat. I'll take the three sheep. The three sheep are only equivalent after playing cattle market. I'll take the cattle. The revolution will not be televised. Well, I mean, it is here. It's not going on your TV, but it's going on something else. So I'm going to play Cloister Dwell around 14. And then I can play Swan Lake on Family Growth, or I can play it with Winter Crafter. I'm tied for the lead on Village Elder at the moment, too. I really did not think I was going to be doing well for Village Elder, but I'm not that far off. I, unfortunately, my three miners, these three miners don't increase my plate improvement count, but Swan Lake does. So if I could, I could maybe go for like a major pottery with the last move, or I could Winter Craft the pottery. Do something like that. Uh, stone piler, so that triggers my headmaster. So it looks like we're going to end up with two, two points out of headmaster, probably. Sunday school still has not been played yet. There is no pottery. I, I built the pottery. Uh, sorry, I, I said pottery. I meant fireplace, three clay fireplace. 
I meant to say the fireplace. Sorry about that. Uh, so this round is all about feeding without eating any cattle. If I have to eat cattle, then I fail. Then I failed. Lay about Swan Lake. Yeah, I think I like lay about here. The problem with lay about is I don't get to breed the cattle though. So I think I'll probably lasso the two boar and do something else. And what I ha I guess I only have three moves, eh? So if I lay about and two and two boar, then. Third move, Family Growth, Swan Lake. Yeah, then I don't breed the cattle. But that might be okay, because in this game, it uh, it's not about point sealing this game. It's just filling your farm. Because it looks like most of the players are going to struggle just to fill their farms. I could lay about. No, lay about's not a bad suggestion at all. I could definitely lay about. Whatever my first move is, I'm lassoing the two boar. That's there's no no doubt about that. I could take six food traveling players. Six food traveling players is fairly equivalent to lay about here. Only difference being I get to play I don't get to play Swan Lake on Family Growth. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's lay about. Sure. Why not? And we'll toss Fisherman to Village Fool. Use Headmaster to pay for Layabout. PT's farm though. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. It's not gonna fill. He didn't take enough wood. Yeah, which might have been good for me. Um we also had CS Jr. doing a bunch of screwing with Field Watchman, which wasn't worth it. He had to stable block Field Watchman twice to grow one round earlier. Um not worth it. Not worth it. Definitely should have just built normally. I uh, should have just let Field Watchman go in front of him. If I get another wood from Spinny, I could take two stone and then wintercraft the joinery. Yeah, that probably wins me Village Elder in this game. Because PT's played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 miners. CS Jr.'s got bookshelf here. Oh, if CS Jr. plays some more occupations, I wouldn't mind that. Try to think what passing miners have gone around. Sunday school did not get played. I got past cattle market. What else was out there? There was guest, but guest fell out of the draft. Um, there was no like helpful neighbors or anything. There was bartering hut. Bartering hut is out there. Although that might have fallen out of the draft too. Not a great card. Although Field Watchman might have taken it. Field Watchman might have taken Bartering Hut. Huh? 
So you play start player Winter Garden to set up uh, Plow So in the last round, I imagine. So probably see him take, maybe take vegetable, take grain to set up a decent Plow So action. <sighs> so obviously I'm going to play Cloister Dweller. I'm going to Cloister Dweller. I'm going to lasso the sheep. Um, I'm going to keep the sheep in a big pasture and eat the cattle. Because the cattle... The cattle is going to be my most efficient way of feeding here. Yeah, so I'll just eat two cattle. One from Cattle Market and one from just the regular cattle. Alright, um, yeah, so I got four moves. One of them is Family Growth, Cattle Market. One of them is Lassoing the Two Sheep. One of them is playing Cloister Dweller, so I have one free move. So if I take two stone and then um, collect from Spinny, then I can build the joinery. But that assumes that nobody else is going to build the joinery. If I, if I take the two stone and someone else builds the joinery, then it's a dead move. Totally dead move. I'm going to need nine food because I'll probably, I'll probably get some more, one more headmaster food, most likely. Although if I don't have a headmaster food by the time I play, I'm playing Cloister Dweller, then, then I won't, of course. So it looks like PT's family growth, even without room, is uncontested. Best veter veterinarian ever. The best veterinarian is the one that's never drafted and played. That's you. You got that right, Rallocren. You got that right. We'll discard cow mom, so we have a two-point village fool. I'll play Occupation here. And then Lasso the two sheep. Eat a cattle. Headmaster is likely two food here, or two points here. So it was a bunch of food and a couple points, so worked out pretty well. PT has Mason, we knew that. We had Mason in our opening hand. We did have to pass it along. Four, five, six, seven, four, seven. So yeah, one more plate improvement would make me uh, rest a lot easier. So yeah, I could also take three, I could take four clay. Four clay would get me that fireplace. Nope, four clay is gone. I need one food, right? Uh, so I'm gonna turn my sheep into a cattle and eat it. And then I'm gonna eat a boar. I think I'm good for food. I guess one food helps me not to eat the cattle for one point. Yeah, so in, in that in that respect, yes, you're correct.
So last move, I'm hoping someone takes um, six wood so that I can take two stone. That guarantees me the... So long as I get the joinery, that guarantees me the village vill village elder bonus, I, I think. I think it's unlikely that PT's getting to... Yeah, there's no way PT's getting to eight plate improvements. Otherwise, I can take a vegetable for two points. Oh, I forgot to take my sh my Swan Lake food. So I actually have enough food right now. Perfect. I forgot my Swan Lake food, which is in the top right. Beautiful. Oh, I get a thing from Mason. Not that it matters. So yeah, no no guarantee that I'll get the joinery. So I'll just play it safe and get the vegetable here. P9. I won't announce it though until uh, everyone else has moved yet. I don't want anyone else to know that I'm not actually uh, winter crafting anything. So I have what I score plus 12. So this is probably a mid-30s farm. I probably score like 48 or 49, which in this game is probably enough to win. If I get the Village Elder, then I probably hit 50. And then with Village Elder, that's, yeah, 50 would definitely be enough to win. So PT has only one more action to take the Village Elder points away from me. See if they do it. Would have to be a miner, and it probably would have to be a free miner. Nope. Looks like I got it. Looks like I win Village Elder as well. No Wintercraft feed 9 So seven improvements only. It's pretty rare. So I have what I score plus 11, 13, 14. What I score plus 14. So 49. It was only 49 with the Village Elder. So lower than I had guessed. Who has seven plus one improvements? Clockwork Man is only one improvement. Clockwork Man is only one improvement. Doesn't really matter. It looks like I'm winning by more than three points anyways. I'm not really sure why he thinks it counts for two. It says it counts as one occupation and one minor. So it seems pretty clear to me. Thirty one for CS Junior. V 
field watchman with the veterinarian managed 43 and that's with a pretty good veterinarian All right, guys, there's win number one on two win Tuesday. Classic published decks only. Hitting 49 is a very good score. It's a 37, sure. I'm not really seeing 37 personally, but I'm seeing 35, but whatever. Seems like they're tilted, so I'm not going to argue. Doesn't make a difference in his final position. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he scores 35. Unless he took a crop at the end and didn't didn't give it to himself. All right, 49 points, pretty good. If you're gonna play a G81, ping me. I will join. Yeah, so I think I'd probably like to do a G8 game or a tournament game. That's my preference. I just hopped in this one because it's what was available. So, um, yeah, my occupation quality was very high. Uh, Cloister Dweller, Village Fool. Um, obviously, winning the Head of the Revolution was really good. Getting third pick clay supports was quite strong. So, uh, yeah, I did sort of agonize over Cloister Dweller versus Mason, but uh, getting clay supports made the choice pretty clear, in my opinion. And also, considering Head of the Revolution was out there, it worked out, and... Um, Managing to win the Village Elder points is just like the gravy on the cake, so. Wintercraft was great, even if not... And you know what? This was not a great Wintercrafter game. <laughs> this was an okay Wintercrafter game, but it wasn't the best best I have ever played. Um, it was an okay... Like, I missed out on... I didn't play that many majors with Wintercrafter, and that's usually where the value comes from. Because I did run out of miners. I had a couple of miners that I could not afford to play, so... All right. Well, um, oh, I'm going to do a draw. I'm, I'm going to randomize these guys' players. They want someone to randomize their starting order. So I'm going to do that. Uh, but I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you next time. And if you're watching on Twitch, we're going to run a quick ad, and uh, we'll be back shortly.